Um, I think right now we just need the prayers and, you know, we need the the money to rebuild our town. This is going to be a long, long road ahead of ahead of us. And um, we're just trying to fundraise and, and, and make sure that the displaced families can go back home one day. Um, there's a lot of real estate speculation happening right now that is really frustrating. And I just want to remind all you real estate investors around the world, like the, Lahaina is not for sale. Um, please don't reach out to these families and take advantage of them during the most devastating time of our lives. You know, we just heard from our reporter and, and from a couple of, of women who say that they were upset about what tourists were doing. Now you're telling me that there are real estate investors reaching out to people about their property. Uh, what's going on exactly? Yes, homeowners have been reached out by investors and realtors offering to buy their land. And this is disgusting disgusting and we just want to make sure that people around the world understand our situation and know that Lahaina is not for sale. It is important that the multi-generational families that come from Lahaina get to continue to live in our hometown. Let me ask you about um, Hawaii officials and, and the government. I know that the alarm system failed. They didn't go off. The text message system failed because cell service was bad. Are you hopeful that they will intervene and, and protect Lahaina as a place for locals and tourists, but a place for locals instead of real estate investors looking to, to rebuild it differently than what it was? Yes. Um, we need to work as a community to ensure that we have a seat at the table on how our town is rebuilt and what that looks like. And it's important that we make sure that the cultural history of Lahaina, the integrity of Lahaina is protected, especially for Native Hawaiian families from Lahaina. Uh, we, as a Native Hawaiian community, we've already been displaced so much. You know, the cost of living in Hawaii is so high. Your median ho house um, goes for a million dollars. So, you know, already dealing with that and uh, having an affordable housing crisis and now this just really uh, scares me and concerns me that there will be more Native Hawaiian displacement happening on our, uh, among our community. That is so hard. Um, can I ask you how your cousin is doing, how Dustin is doing? He's okay. Um, you know, they're, we're just we're just comforting each other at this time. Um, everyone's living with me. I have a three bedroom home. I have two families living with me. But you know, through through it all, we are enjoying each other's time right now and just being there for each other. And that's what matters most. Tiari Lawrence, thank you for coming back on, and for I'm glad your immediate family is safe. I'm so so horrified for your friends and horrified for the island if it, if it isn't able to, to rebuild in, in a similar way. I know you can't rebuild all that history, but I, I do believe in the island. I do believe in the people. You guys are, you guys are strong and you're unique. Um, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Please keep the prayers and donations coming our way. Aloha.